All right, I'm going to try to explain what, what, how this uh, works. I, I've got a 1995 Chevy Impala SS, which comes with a key like this. And a uh, common is what pe some people seem to think. They think that that right here is a chip, but it's not. What it really is is a resistor that puts out a specific, uh, uh, specific uh, range of resistance. And basically, the way that the system works is you've got your bypass module here which goes uh, to some uh, uh, wires here I believe it's purple and white and then uh, it goes to a connector which then connects to uh, white wires in an orange sleeve which goes to your ignition system and runs into that chip which then completes the circuit with that a specific amount of resistance now what happens is when you turn this ignition over enough, this w these wires become so frayed that you can't, it breaks the circle basically. So what I did was I went ahead and cut the, the circuit here and I went ahead and added resistors in here to the same resistance as this right here, uh, the chip inside the, uh, the resistor inside the key. Mine was set to uh, 8.88. So that's what I did here. This was a little bit more. I think it's like, or a little less, like point, uh, point eight seven. But it's there's a specific range you can be within, and still I think mine was point eight five to point nine two or something like that. Um, and basis. So this is what it ended up looking like right here. Um, I put the resistors in a row, and then that plugged directly into the harness. I took the wires out and it leaves those two sleeves in there, I just slid them right in, turn the key on, the ignition starts, happy as day. Um, how you know that this is your pass key is when you put the key in the ignition, it'll read as a uh, pass key fault, but it'll blink. Instead of being solid, it'll blink, and your car won't start. You'll hear the uh, fuel pump engage, you'll hear the whine of it, because for some reason that's what it does, but your starter won't engage, and your fuel injectors won't engage. So when you can't start your car. It's a very common problem. Horrible as shit. Um, but after a little bit, I got I got it working again. Um, the part was, like, ridiculous. I think they wanted, like, 150 for new keys and all this shit, along with the ignition system. Um, it's the uh, actual labor on it was, like, 250 bucks, but it really was I mean, I could have replaced the uh, ignition system myself, but it's just ridiculous. Most people don't won't understand what's going on, and they'll buy the ignition system again and sometime down the road this is going to happen again um, I got lucky this this is uh, the original keys and everything um, was never replaced as a 17 year old car so I mean I got lucky I guess but now I don't have to worry about the system anymore